Over 100 investors from across 20 countries are currently taking part in an investment roadshow in Kinshasa, DRC. The roadshow, which has been organized by Equity Bank and other partners, and aims to explore investment opportunities in the region. Led by Equity Group CEO Dr. James Mwangi, the participants have been urged to take a chance on the country's untapped potential. Jimmy Mbogo is in Kinshasa following that roadshow that aims to unlock business and investment potentials into and out of the DRC. It is a country that has been characterized by news of civil unrest in the past, a narrative that is now fast changing with every stroke of a business deal. With a growing population of nearly 100 million citizens, the DRC now presents an avenue for regional expansion for investors eyeing extra customers. It is for this reason that financial institutions are now racing for a piece of the pie, with some going the extra mile to expose their customers to potential investment opportunities. Most countries in Africa suffer from uh, sentiments. Uh, the sentiment uh, in DRC has been improving significantly. We have continued since uh, 2015 uh, to grow more confident about the economy and to make bolder decisions. Uh, as uh, Celesta said, the financial sector had not opened up very well. Uh, we still, inclusion is uh, still below 10%. So we see a sea as a very significant headroom. So we are thinking of investing in logistic company, whether by air or by, uh, by the river, to facilitate the transportation of goods. So all these options are, are looking for partners with whom we can work, uh, banks, financial partners, but also investors were interested. From the opportunities in the energy sector to agriculture, mining and hospitality, the investors were taken through viable and ready investment options. Uh, the World Bank keenly pointing out that the DRC economy could outperform other economies in the region, with experts projecting a 6% GDP growth, noting that the lack of debt distress in the country makes it an attractive investment even for public-private partnerships. The fiscal stance of this economy has been extremely uh, strong. Uh, the country has actually maintained one of the lowest fiscal deficits that we have in sub-Saharan Africa. From 0.7%, it has increased last year to around 1.7% fiscal deficit, despite all the pressure from uh, spending uh, for, for security, security spending to address the issue of uh, insecurity in the East. DRC is well positioned uh, to be one of those hubs in Africa uh, for local and regional supply chains. One, uh, because of the size of the population, and two, because of its endowment the investors who expressed concerns over frustration in business registration were given an assurance by the trade minister that the government is working on digitizing the process of business registration to reduce the time taken. In a country with a population of 98 million and climbing, expected to double by 2050, investors have been asked to take a risk and bet on Congo. Jimmy Bogo, Citizen TV in Kinshasa, DRC.